Of course we will be watching telly in 10 years time, probably more and more and more. But you know we should define what television is just for the moment. Television is actually fabulously gorgeous, unmissable, entertaining content that is put together by very, very clever people in the order actually that people want to watch it so that they just go, oh my gosh, I must watch that now. My wildest prediction for the future of telly is that it is going to live forever. And you know what? It's probably going to kill social media in the very end. So the 30 second spot will cost at least 200% more than it does now. Well actually I bought a 3D TV. So we flicked the switch and then we all sat there with the glasses on and then after a while we all went, oh, doesn't seem to make much difference does it? Why is that then? Anyway, we sort of took them off, and then a friend came around later and picked up the glasses and went, uh, Hazlitt family, you need to charge the glasses before you watch the 3D television. Brookside, I just loved Brookie. Me, I, I am, and I will remain in charge of the remote in my house. from my bed in a clinic because I would have finally ended up in one having spent so many years in media trying to work out what the blooming hell is going to happen in 10, 20, 30 years time. We will obviously end up knowing probably everything about all viewers, users, consumers that we are targeting. Uh, but my big question is, will that mean that we sell more stuff? I wonder, I'm not sure. Well, obviously its role now is just to make telly bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but, you know, once it's done that, it probably won't have a role, will it? Oh, unless I go and work there, of course, in which case it'll be fabulous. <laughs> looking around the world, if you are in the fortunate position of being a broadcaster and a producer uh, in the UK, then if you get it right, your content is desired more than most content the world has ever seen. I absolutely believe that uh, people will want channels. This idea that they just, you know, hop about and find stuff is complete bollocks. The commissioning process will still be about finding that fabulous, wonderful, unmissable content that everybody wants to watch. I suppose the only difference would be that it'll evolve to be thinking around, you know, uh, what devices might people be watching this on and should there be different forms of interaction than we currently have for those programmes. This binge viewing that everybody talks about is not yet uh, proven as being, you know, the big model that's going to kind of overshadow everything else. I think there will be a place for it but I think there will still be an enormous place for EVG type uh, scheduling. I think what we've done with Compare the Market and Coronation Street is absolutely exceptional because not only you know, is that sort of part of uh, the content in that they used the set, they were the first advertisers to get use of the Coronation Street set, so it feels really integrated and really lovely. I mean, for God's sake, Alexander was interviewed on This Morning, uh, he's a flipping puppet, um, and you know, that is an incredible proper integration into, uh, you know, programming without uh, up, you know, without causing any grief to either the producer, 
the viewer or the other.